It's a great event. Every year it's a great event. We have close to 180 artists come to participate. They're from all over the country and they travel with them with their handmade crafts. Um, everything you can think of from pottery, jewelry, wood, large scale metal sculptures, um, fine art, photography. It's a great gathering of artists and artistry on the Guilford Green every year. It's a great event for people to come out to as a celebration of the arts. It's a chance for people to be introduced to certain art forms or to continue to collect certain art forms and to have a real one-on-one -on -one relationship with the artisans themselves, um, meeting them, talking to them, getting to know their work. It's really a great event for the town of Guilford and the Shoreline community. As much as the public loves coming to talk to the artists, we always hear how much the artists love to come and talk about their work. It's a great relationship one-on-one -on -one between the visitors and the artists, and it's something that makes the show really special for everybody involved. Oh, look at that. Uh, hi, my name is Rini Young, and I'm a jewelry designer from New York City. I've been doing the Guilford show for quite some time, so I love coming back here. Um, I'm a jewelry designer, I work in New York, and I work mainly in sterling silver, uh, semi-precious stones. I make everything by hand, so everything you see here is um, handcrafted by me one at a time. I guess what always attracted me to jewelry was the elasticity of metal and the fact that it will stay, it has a certain amount of memory. So you can form it and it will stay put. Um, I like the sculptural aspect of doing that as well and it sort of gives me a chance to kind of do all the things that I love. Hi, my name is Carolyn Levy and I'm with Heart of Creations. My brother and I have a really neat woodworking business where we use all kinds of different um, different laminated woods, all different, different kind of woods from all over the country. But I want to highlight this cool little cutting board right here. It's a round cutting board. It doesn't slide around with the feet on the back. You can turn it this way. So you have a long cutting board for French bread, salmon, sushi, cheeses. You can turn it like this or like this. And you can use them individually for hors d'oeuvres. They stack nicely. And you can set them out like this and put a dip in the middle with veggies around it, a bowl of crackers with cheese around it. They're so much fun and, and the cutting boards are great to use. There's a material in wood that kills bacteria, so they're great to cut on. But all the games and everything else that we make are really fun too. So come on down to the show and, and enjoy, enjoy all the different art pieces. Hi, I'm Ann Applebaum and these are Whimsy Pots of Eva Arts. Uh, all of this work is clay sculpture. Every piece is thrown on the potter's wheel. They're all one-of-a-kind sculptures and what makes it so special is that I've taken the tradition of sculpture and ceramics and tied it into fine art painting and really flipped it upside down. They really are all about the details so that as an abstraction the piece is so interesting to look at and then as soon as you get an opportunity to really study it you see that almost all of them are animals or figures. My name is Robert Allen Hyde. Uh, I'm a metal sculptor from uh, Washington, Massachusetts. My work is all created using uh, brass, steel, and copper welding rod. Uh, all my designs come from my mind. I visualize everything I do. And I've been doing this work for about 45 years. I'm Amy Liner and I am the designer of all this beautiful jewelry and this is Natalie and she works with me. We are all about color and how we put color together. We clash color, we um, use a lot of textures and beads, beads from all over the world. We're known for embellishing. We embellish, if you come through here you'll see how ornate our earrings are. We do a lot of work with um, Broadway shows, film and I'm an avid supporter of the Guilford Art Center. The Craft Expo was actually the genesis for the founding of the Art Center. It became a school. It was founded in 1967, so 10 years after the first original expo. And we continue at the Art Center here to teach things such as metalsmithing, pottery, weaving, um, expanding out to painting and sculpture, kids' classes. So the Craft Expo is really a wonderful part of the town of Guilford's identity as a cultured and artistic community. We're um, grateful to be able to continue to bring these works to our town center every summer, the third weekend in July, every summer, and to continue to have a school here where our community members can um, learn more about fine crafts and art as well.